Did you know that two thirds of home buyers who shop on the internet, which is 95% of all home buyers, find floor plans useful? And that Zillow has more hits on properties that have listings with floor plans than any other. And a national survey found that 81% of home buyers are more likely to tour a property if the listing material includes a floor plan. For these reasons, real estate agents have been using floor plans to help market properties for decades. However, this may soon change based on a recent U.S. Court of Appeals case out of the Eighth Circuit. In this case, an architectural firm sued a brokerage firm claiming that the broker's agents using computer-generated floor plans was a copyright infringement of the architectural plans. The brokerage argued that they had the right to use floor plans based on an exception under the Copyright Act. That exception stated that the public can use pictures, paintings, photographs, or other pictorial representations, and that would not constitute an infringement of an architect's plan. The trial court agreed with the brokerage, but on appeal, the appellate court ruled that the plans, floor plans, were functional, whereas paintings, photographs, and pictures are artistic, and therefore, floor plans did not fall in the same group of category. Further, the court said that if Congress had wanted floor plans to be considered a picture or painting or photograph, they would have included it in the law. The brokerage appealed the appellate court decision to the United States Supreme Court. And NAR and 17 other real estate organizations sent in amicus briefs, basically claiming that the use of floor plans was an integral part of the home buying experience and has been for decades. Unfortunately, the, court, the Supreme Court declined to hear the case. That means the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals ruling that floor plans are an infringement of an architect's plan stands, at least for that region. So what does this mean for Texas? Texas is under the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, so the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals does not control here. However, the Fifth Circuit has not ruled on this issue, and trial courts can decide to follow the ruling in the Eighth Circuit decision. So how can Texas agents avoid being caught up in a potential copyright infringement lawsuit when using floor plans? First of all, try and get the architect's permission to use floor plans in marketing a property. If you can't locate the architect or the architect doesn't get permission, you need to talk to your client to discuss the benefits versus the risk of using a floor plan in marketing. The benefit, of course, would be easier marketing of the property. The risk is a potentially expensive lawsuit. Brokers should also update their policies to let their agents know how they want them to handle floor plans when marketing properties. For more information, check out my article, Whose Plan Is It Anyway?, in TG or on the website.